Hello. This is a quick video on Simplify Gmail and Gmail's new design. Um, I'm rolling out my initial support for compatibility with Gmail's new design. Uh, and that, I believe, is still rolling out to everyone, but is starting to pick up. The first thing I will say is if you do not use chat or spaces, there really isn't any improvement, in my view, uh, here in Gmail's new design. So I, I would recommend opting out of the new design um, until you're forced to use it. Uh, and this will give me more time to make sure Simplify is 100% compatible. Um, so the way to opt out is you just click on Gmail settings gear and then you go back to Gmail, the original Gmail view. Um, and you can opt back in at any point. Um, so once you've got it, you can switch back and forth all you want. Okay, with that said and out of the way, um, I quick summary of what um, I'm doing um, and, and the options I'm adding and some new features. Um, so really this new design does effectively three things. It adds this kind of app navigation on the left-hand side. Um, it also changes some defaults in how chats open. Uh, they now open full screen. So if I click on a chat here, or if I click on a chat here, by default, it's gonna open full screen. Um, and so if I go back and I'll send another message. Uh, and so what Simplify does is by default, I hide this app bar because I, I don't think many people use chat or spaces. Now the, the little notifications will still show up. I move them above the compose button. Um, and that is, I think that makes more sense, uh, especially if you change the default to have them open as little chat moles. Uh, so let me do that again. Uh, and if you click on that, it shows right here. And if I minimize, it goes back there, it goes back there. Um, and so you can actually have it if you want, uh, instead of that defaulting to full screen, you, there is a way to have that default to the little chat moles, which is under here, chat notification settings, and then open chat bubbles in full screen. You can just uncheck that. Um, and then when they come in uh, and you click on this, it will open up as a little chat mall. Uh, but the ones, uh, if you open up chat over here, um, let's see, turn simplify back off. If you open it up over here, it will still always open full screen. There's no way to make those open up in bubbles. Okay, so new app nav, I'm disabling it by default. What if you want to use Simplify and you do want the app, new app uh, nav, there is a setting for that. <laughs> um, so I've got two new settings. One is I let you turn the app nav back on. So there it is, uh, and that works. Um, and the second is I let you leave the compose button in top. So uh, Simplify puts compose down here in the bottom right. Um, mostly so that you can open and close the navigation and still always have access to Compose. It also puts the Compose button near where Compose opens. So if you would prefer to leave it in the top of the nav, um, and now it's only up here, I'm adding that option here. Uh, I think that makes more sense if you're also enabling um, the new nav. Now the Compose is kind of always in a consistent place. It's right there, it's right there, it's right there. Um, uh, but if you turn off the new app nav and you move the compose button to the top of the nav, it actually can result in an even simpler interface. Compose button is hidden unless the nav is open. Um, and if you use keyboard shortcut uh, for compose, that works great. One last uh, new feature I'm adding is I've cleaned up the uh, quick search for chat and spaces. So uh, if you have keyboard shortcuts enabled, so if you hit the question mark, you can come down here um, and see right here, I have them enabled. If they were disabled, that would be red. Um, and if you have them enabled, you can hit Q at any point and you can just quickly search um, over all of your uh, over all of your contacts and start a message. So I can click Hi, and then that jumps right in there. And again, if I have that not set to open full screen, I believe it opens as a little chat mall. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, last thing is if you like the new theme, I think that's the other thing that the, the new Gmail design does is it applies kind of this light gray 
container around the content. Um, that is not really new. Uh, the light gray theme has done that for a while. So if you go under settings, go down to themes and click view all and then scroll down to soft gray, uh, you can have that even without the new design. Uh, and if I open up a message, everything is in set, looks fabulous. Um, so you don't have to use the new design to get that. Uh, as you can see, here it is in the light gray theme. Um, you can just change your theme. All right, well, please send any feedback if you find any issues. I'm sure there's still some small details I'm missing. Uh, best way to do that is under the Simplify menu, report an issue. This will include a system report, which tells me um, what your configuration is for Simplify and helps me debug. Screenshots are also always useful. Uh, thanks, and uh, yeah, uh, more to come.